hello everyone okay so we have 1 over 2 x plus square root of x equals 4 so my question is how many of you here can solve this problem to the end without you know anybody guiding you if you cannot solve it sit and watch and if you can solve it you also need to stay and watch would you use the same method that I'm going to use let's go through it together okay um, one thing you must know is this this right here can be written as x over 2 plus square root of x equals 4 okay what if I make this square root of x the subject so that means that I can just have square root of x to be equal to 4 minus x over 2 if this goes there it becomes negative now you see what I want to do I want to combine this into one fraction so we have square root of x equals the LCM of this is 2 then 2 we know that this is over 1 so 2 divided by 1 is 2 times 4 is 8 then minus 2 divided by 2 is 1 times x is x. So now we have one fraction there. And the next target is to remove the square root. So we have square root of x. We're going to square it. That is the only way you can remove square root. Then on the other hand, we have 8 minus x over 2. And the whole of this will be squared. Since we have already squared the left hand side. Do you know that this can take this out? That was the reason for the introduction of the square. So now we have x that is equal to this in two places. So we have 8 minus x over 2 multiplied by 8 minus x over 2. Now let us multiply this. So we have x to be 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times minus x is minus 8x minus x times 8 is minus 8x and minus x times minus x is plus x squared all of this will be 2 times 2 we divided by 2 times 2 2 times 2 is 4 now why don't you cross multiply since we have one fraction here it's going to be this times this as we have 4x and it's equal to 64 minus 8x minus 8x plus x squared now let's add these two terms so we have 4x now equals 64 minus this and this will give us minus 16x then plus x squared now we're going to write this one first so we write x squared minus 16x then this is going to become negative as we have negative 4x this is plus 64 right everything is zero let me go through this again for those of you that may not understand now it's good as it's as good as writing this first everything on the right we want to write it first so i wrote this first this minus 6s comes here it does not have to change the sign because they are still on their side then this is moving to meet with these others with these other ones so it turns to negative then 64 is where it is still positive now nothing is on the other side because we have moved for x so we need to include zero there okay so now we have x squared this and this will give us negative 20 x then we have plus 64 this is now equal to zero okay so let's continue we now have a quadratic equation because of this power of x and um, because of the equality sign and as well the unknown variable so let's solve this quadratic equation okay so let's solve this do you know that if if i didn't add what i, what I have here i could have just factorized this right from here okay this is what i could have done and uh, I won't have gotten this step, but it's all the same. Let's um 
look for two numbers that we multiply to get 64 and we add the two numbers to get um, minus 20. So let's go. We have x squared. In place of this minus 20, I can write minus 16x. Then I write another minus 4x. This is because minus 16x minus 4x is minus 20x. Then we have plus 64. Everything is equal to 0. We are going to factorize these two. What is common to them is x. Here we have 1x and here we have 16. Then minus here, 4 is here and 4 can go there. So 4 is a common factor. 4 divided by 4x divided by 4 is going to give us x. Then 64 divided by negative 4 will give us negative 16. So everything is equal to 0. By the way, we are using the factorization method. Now, we are going to factorize x minus 16 because it belongs to these two. We write x minus 16. Then here we're having x minus 4, x minus 4. And we equate all of these to 0. And every time you multiply two terms to get 0, either of them must be equal to 0. So we say x minus 16 is equal to 0 or x minus 4 is equal to 0. So from here we proceed. Okay, so let's continue from here. And um, let me humbly ask, if you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Okay, subscribe to my channel if you think I am trying. If you think I am trying, subscribe to my channel. Now, we are going to make x the subject from here. So, it's either x is equal to 0 plus 16 if we collect terms or x is equal to 0 plus 4. So, our x from here is going to be 0 plus 4, um, 16 is 16. Or x from here is 0 plus 4, and that is 4. Conclusion, therefore, our x equals 16 or 4. Now, let's go back to the equation. We are already at the verification stage. Okay, so imagine, um, not, okay, let's go. We have 1 over 2x plus square root of x equals 9. Imagine that we put x as 16. Okay, that means we're having 1 over 2 multiplied by x, which is 16, then plus square root of 16. Obviously, this is not going to give us 4, because 2 into 16 is 8, and it's already more than the 4 there. So we have 8 plus square root of 16 is 4, and this is 12, if you add. So it's obvious that x equals 16, is not a solution. Now let's put x equals 4. So we have 1 over 2 of, in place of x, I'm going to write 4 plus square root of 4. Now 2 into 2 is 2, um, 2 into 4 is 2. We have 2 plus square root of 4, and that is 2. This is equal to 4 if you add. And that is what we have on the right hand side of the equation. So therefore, we conclude that x equals 4 satisfies the equation. Okay, if you have subscribed, thank you, and um, I am grateful.